But we'll see how things go in terms of the operator bands are obviously going to change things up a little bit. Last time Reciprocity played on this, they banned the Dokubi and Valkyrie. We'll see if those bands come out again. Although it may be read into it, you know, obviously those VODs were reviewed. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's going to be predicted to an extent. But Ying, Ying that is something that... Uh, Deny Slash, right? Definitely yeah, has been banned, you know, occasionally in some of the regions. Not so much NA yet, but this is going to help shift that a little bit. And nope, the Doku oh. is not going to be banned. The Jackal is Makes definitely going to be banned. So there's definitely going to be some roam play coming out here either way. So it's Doku or Jackal are going to be the two roam trackers you're going to be worried about. Jackal, Jackal is also a pretty big operator for Fox, for example, on Reciprocity. Absolutely. He can do quite a bit of work. Rogue will deny the Maestro. And Reciprocity should be banning the Valkyrie or the Echo. More likely the Valkyrie in this position. Mm -hmm. Just a night information game. Yeah. And there you go. It's as if we know what we're talking about. As if. As don't dig too deep into that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how that affects the actual match here, though, because there will be, uh, you know, some of the roam tracking off. Like, some of this, in some ways, uh, definitely, you know, hinges on, like, players like Echo, for example, being a big factor potentially in certain situations. The Dokubi will be coming out. And, and I say that, too, because uh, when it comes to roam tracking, uh, Echo is the operator that is immune to Dokubi, so therefore, uh, without the Jackal to be able to track that, I mean... Most of the time, Echo's going to be sitting on a site anyways, yep. but he's going to get six pick off of anyways. Cafeteria Garage, Mira in play makes a lot of sense. Obviously, okay. Legion is going to probably be holding on to the white van and quite possibly Attackers the yellow stairs to positions that are bomb. very strong for the operator. But Reciprocity mostly running a defense-oriented kind of lineup. There's no outlier in operators that really allows you to roam more than uh, your base ops. But again, in my mind, any operator can roam. It's just about how you do it. And obviously, there's ops that enable that more than others. And Reciprocity actually going for more of an old school style of setup, which is, yeah, you're going to have a mirror upstairs. You have a second one as well here. Garage can watch all the way to the, the entrance. You're going to have some holes for Mark and his teammates at C4s. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Reciprocity. I believe Laxing is also bringing a stick of uh, Nitro Cell. Yeah, I can imagine it's going to be Skies and nope. Fox on the road. It's got Barbed Wire. Interesting setup here. Oh, just this is just in case somebody moves in from... Uh -huh, this actually makes a lot of sense. Just, yeah, just in case... In. Just in case Slash isn't really able to do too much in the Havana, and this turns into a server push, mm -hmm. you still have some sort of flexibility for reciprocity. Absolutely, and they, they wanted to make sure that they can have some kind of sound indication, at least that that's coming through from them having to open up the wooden barricade, because they did drop the Thatcher. They six yep. picked off of it, so there is a chance they might have a little more trouble opening up the garage door and could have to go for that rotate, but more than likely they will be able to take piano or even attack it from above here easily he's going to be able to take console office which he could then use to even if he wants to open up the floor and work down there but that's going to open that up oh. and unfortunately fox oh. looks like he might have maybe even been going to switch on to his uh he was just checking cams. his cams yeah what okay that's a that's a good start right there well, you don't usually expect someone to just open that angle like that that quick so definitely uh just a little bit of a uh, unfortunate for Fox, but Skies, I imagine, will still be potentially on the roam at some point to try something. You know, he's just going to jump back to site and help defend that. Makes sense. You kind of, at this point, you don't really have the utility to go uh, with more of a roaming oh, style. Oh, no, Laxing's going to be on the roam instead. Hmm. Solo, but he can easily rotate down, right? He just has the server stairs. Uh, the service stairs. I mean, you know you can't bandit trick very well on this site if they can get piano control anyway, so... Yeah, grenade lobbed into the back. No damage will be done to Skies as he falls back. And those uh, batteries downstairs have already been taken out. So Rogue really looking pretty good here. And the Havana Slash should just start to destroy that wall ASAP. We'll see if they can actually start to turn that into any kind of progress, though, as they're not finding angles on anyone. And I, I can imagine if Laxing had the C4, he'd probably still be playing in the garage. But because he doesn't, he's actually crept his way back up to the top. And uh, going to be able to take Fox's place, essentially. And I, I got to imagine this is going to sneak down. You see the hole in the floor there could actually work out in their favor. So you're able to catch them. You see that? Ah. Uh, nope. There's the Dokubi call coming out. The call comes in, and what a terrible spot to be in. I don't Lacks think they're in a place to hear it, though. They, well, there's the hatch and the hole next to him, where he was just standing. So they should have been able to hear Laxing in the meantime. Skies will go down to Eclipse. 
smokes will get thrown into the back as the second call will come in, delaying Laxing even more. And he'll try to drop, but you see there's already someone holding onto the lobby. Easily, easily takes down Laxing. And it's Mark on his own for the end. That was just unfortunate, I guess. But Mark unable to hit the shots, pulls out the shotgun and shuttle. We'll find yet another kill. I believe that was 3k for Shuttle at the end of the round. Yeah, it was almost a perfect round for Rogue as well, mm -hmm. except for the damage on Eclipse. That was it. They hadn't lost a single player. That was perfectly executed. Uh, yeah. I mean, that initial kill on the Fox was a huge impact because it, it forced Laxing to have to kind of slowly roam his way back up. And unfortunately, he got caught off guard. It just... Yeah, it was, it was a great start, as you mentioned. They were able to execute it on as well as well. There just wasn't any attempt. I mean, there was the attempts to try and frag back, but all of them were stopped because those are somewhat predictable in what you're going to be doing if you're trying to attack back up vertically or you're trying to push back against yellow stairs, for example. There's only so, only so many angle, I'm sorry, angles you can play it, and if they're yeah, willing to pre-fire that on rogue side, you're more than likely going to win those. And of course, they have the bucks and things like that to open up the floor, get set up for that, uh, kind of weed out those positions. That was a 2k there for shuttle. I'll have to correct myself. Uh, Eclipse did get the kill there on the bucks. So, still pretty darn good. Just holding the angle correctly. And it was all that was required by rogue to win things out. Now, reciprocity will switch things around and go to the top floor now to play. And Mark is going to go for the echo. So, that's... Uh, your operator pick, and at least Rogue are bringing the Havana. Havana just seeming to be a much more viable and flexible operator pick on this map in general. I don't think, I said it before, but I'll say it again. Unless you 100% know that they're going to play on Garage, there's no real big reason to bring the Thermite on Consulate. And they're going to be reading into the fact that because Garage was lost there, they're, they're not likely, at least from this team, to play it again right there. They don't necessarily know if it's going to be Consulate or Lobby, but I mean, I'm sure they know at this point. Sky's though going to be playing a very aggressive defense up there, but this time Lax is going to take over the uh, Legion. And Fox is going to be playing on Pulse, something he does occasionally. They're going to have Retro on that smoke. So between him and Mark, they're just going to try to hold sight as long as they can. But of course, that's going to be pretty predictable for Rogue, so there's going to have to be some unpredictable plays coming out, I think, for Reciprocity to catch someone off guard. or. Just if Skies can win his gunfights and delay any kind of admin side push for a long period of time, it looks like Eclipse actually going to take control of the middle floor fairly quickly along with his teammates moving in. So this is a nice play, but this looks like a fairly yellow stairs heavy push. Oh, look at this. Fox and the Eager behind him are trying to push in and contest easily in his teammate on the yellow stairs. Now, not sure where the rest of... Oh, okay. This is... Fairly aggressive, I have to say, from reciprocity. Skies is Defender right behind him. He operation. peeks out and finds no one a by the front door. Located. Shuttle continues to drone his teammates in, giving them information. Easily will just have full control of yellow stairs. Completely relegated here by Team Reciprocity. Far into the back as will destroy the shield very easily there. Unfortunately, Eclipse will spot Fox. He's got to be very careful. Claymore is well set there by the Zulfi on the yellow stairs to protect for any, from any eventual back rages, if you will, later on in the round. Still, taking it slow here, Rogue. No damage done so far in the round. I mean, this is not a bad play, though, from Reciprocity to be playing aggressive, but also somewhat flexible here. Skies just needs to time this right. He could get the kill, and this would start to slowly swing things in their way because there would only be a minute left and man advantage. Unfortunately, phone call does come out. And that's Skies. He is going to cut off guard slash off. can't hear it, but does he know where it's at is the big question. And that's the big problem by allowing the Dokubi to be in play. And, whoa, Skies just passes in and finally gets shut down, but not before doing a ton of damage to Slash. And unfortunately, with a limited amount of time, not, there might not be the potential for a, uh, a reset. And there won't be. Look at Slash and Shuttle. Fairly low on HP. Smoke chucked into the back as Laxing will find the kill on Slash and drop the Habana before much can be done by the solo heart breacher of Rogue. Laxing downstairs. Move up through Piano. Grenade being picked up here by Eclipse, chucking it into Connector Room. Damage is done to Retro, but not enough to take him out. Laxing will jump out and try to fight upstairs, and there you go. Vertical already low in health. Will get taken out. Not much time left. Eclipse will find one, but instantly refrag by Mark. Diffuser set, but Fox will take out Shuttle easily now. Solo for the squad. Claymore on the floor as it will get taken down. And he'll find Fox. Turns it into 1v1. Laxing is low on health as it's downstairs. 
Kumine will do the damage, but he doesn't know where the last player is. He puts himself inside of the bathroom. More reinforced position, but that's when Laxing will pounce and will clutch the round for reciprocity. Defending Perfectly down. played by yeah, Laxing. That was just all the all the information that reciprocity required. Just oh man, easily turns around to take down the Defenders default cam in the hallway, and that's where Bobby Laxing just moves on Defender out. Win. Oh man, that was wonderfully played. Well, it didn't always work out for the best, but what I really liked about it was that the way that they, anytime Rogue took map control and moved off, Reciprocity just took it back. They kept yep. taking that middle floor back over and over. You saw Laxing get the one kill even. After Skies had already died, Laxing gets the kill and then just immediately rotates back down again. They made sure that any ground they gained was mostly on yellow stairs, and they were not able to really hold a significant portion of the map. They were able to at least get the plant down because, of course, they were able to at least get some pressure on them. But then the run out as well, nice run out, just getting that kill. Laxing absolutely playing that fantastically as well. And, I mean, while that was a close round and Eclipse had some good plays, he was just in, in a tough spot. The goo mine, unfortunately, really what is what did him in because he had to go into the bathroom, take that goo mine out, and that's where he got pounced on at the very end. It was uh, it was unfortunate for him that that was placed there because, was. I mean, he was obviously not going to be looking around for it, staring at the ground. He's got to be very focused on making sure he doesn't get caught off guard, and that's exactly why he got caught off guard. So... Good back and forth between these two teams, though. That was definitely not as uh, smooth of a round for Rogue as that first round. Again, it was unfortunate that Skies was caught off guard by that phone call. At this point, they almost need a mute just to be able to stand in occasionally to, to <laughs> deny the phone call and then move out. Like, if you hear your friend's what phone ring, you just have a then you run a hallway second. so nobody can call you. No, the super highway. The big yeah. super highway. <laughs> That's what they call it. The we'll Ooh, call it. Heading out to bomb. <laughs> so close. All right. Worth a try. Yeah, you don't really lose anything in the end of it, right? Well, it clicks. There you go. He spots it. Reload. Fires into it, and there's no one on the other side of the window. As there should not be at this point. Mm, very true. Well, here's the retry of Garage, and again, the only high breacher, the Habana, which, as you mentioned, is usually better to bring for the flexibility of attack. Laxing, though, has he's moved back. He's not exposed anymore, but he's actually in a nice position to potentially capitalize, and this sneaky as well. Eclipse feeling a little... Uh, hesitant in terms of a lot of pushing here, but Fox just holding yellow stairs very aggressively. Yeah, and they're gonna double down on the uh, roam aggression that they were doing, which probably that is, and still play on the top floor. And the big difference is obviously Fox is not dead, um, at least not yet. Easily trying to hunt the Fox. I want to say the Wabbit, but. <laughs> It's the fox at this point. I think fox hunting is kind of banned at this point, right? At least in the UK. Someone will have to correct me. But easily will fall back and put himself on the raw roof. Windows. And so far, so good for Rogue. Reciprocity as well, taking no damage, which is a stark contrast to what we saw yeah. in the very first round. This is just a little bit slower coming out from Rogue this time. Taking their time. Just they're looking for adjustments oh. as well. Two mirrors downstairs. It's understandable given the fact that Reciprocity were not really playing anybody inside of the bathroom. So it makes sense that Mark moves his utility and focuses it more on the bottom side. Interesting of the positioning as well for the Echo. Go, go, if we can go back and like see where the Echo was in that position. You see he's on, uh, on top. There you go. He has an angle to bomb shoot all the way attacker. down as there's part of the wall that has been taken out to allow him the to do so. But also fairly well. safe as not many people will be looking through that. But By the time you it, you're probably dead anyways. Exactly. So Vertical taking a lot of damage early on here. Sky sprays in through the hatch as one of his go remote gas canisters has already been used. But it's not enough to kill him. And look at the time. Ooh. It's going to get complex here as Fox will find shuttle. And he still has control of yellow stairs. You yeah. have to worry about your flanks so deep into the round, not a great spot. And if Laxing can get back to Skies as well, he could heal them back up and put this back into a 5v4 with full health. Yeah, Laxing actually has already used up his Stim Pistols and picked up Skies 275% HP. So a pretty good spot for Reciprocity to be in. 22 seconds on the clock. Grenade being picked up, you know, being cooked up here. Back to smoke though. Skies to go Second down flash. a slash, it just moves on in. They're trying to take down any yokai drones to allow for the plan to happen. 
Not sure if there's already something available. Mark will connect with the C4. Lasting with one. Leads in a 1v4 with Vertical alive. Enough for long. Fox will take him out from above as, yet again, the late round flanks are perfectly done here by Reciprocity. And that was all that was required by them to pick up a second round on the board. So far, so good. It was definitely a, a, a situation where they didn't overextend themselves that time. They waited for an opportunity towards later in the round when they had the man advantage to again, like they did previously, retake areas and doing so get the flank on them. It was, uh, it was definitely a tough spot to be in because Rogue were looking for opportunities. They spent a lot of time trying to find positions where they could compromise someone on reciprocity, but reciprocity read into that. They played smart. They said, let's hide in situations where we can make sure they can't catch us off guard. How cool are the colors? Reciprocity is playing, you know, they're playing defense. It's orange on orange on orange. Attackers mm -hmm. need to locate they say, what is it like? Bomb. I don't, I don't know some of the slang lingo that is used. That's, that's a lot. It's a lot of orange and white. I like this. This looks it's a very good contrast. Well, I mean, I thought you'd point out also that Rogue being blue is on yeah, attack as well. Very true. It's just color coordinating. They, they're not allowed to switch sides now. <laughs> just keep go, playing like this. Well, I mean, also the Rogue skins on on Buck, so they oh. need to stay on that side, right? Let's be honest. That is. In my opinion, the best skin in the entire game. It's definitely a really I, good one. I uh, consistently run either Pro League uh, team or Pro League skins on my operators. Um, kind of, you know, disappointed. There's no Maestro. Well, there's a Maestro Pro League skin and a Lion Pro League one, which is the most important one, right? But you know, um, there's no Elite Maestro yet. And I just, but it's nice to to have all of these team skins, and I, I, I'm highlighting that because if you didn't know. Any team skins that you buy, part of that money, 30% of it, if I'm not mistaken, will go back to funding the Invitational and tournaments for the future, potentially. So, if you haven't bought them yet, you can still increase the prize pool of the Invitational just through that. It's already over a million dollars. Keep it going. There's still time. Just keep it going. There you go. It's great for all the, uh, the players, that's for sure. Any organizations that will stick as long as possible in Rainbow Six Siege. You know, it's still it's still a business, so you gotta keep it with you. So, yeah. that aside, advertisements, I guess. You think they'll uh, forego the smoke this time and bring Retro on the Rook. Yeah, I mean, they, they saw the smoke did work, Don't activate. but I'm still, I'm unsure of why the Rook will be playing this position instead rock. of potentially a Dock. I think would be a much better operator in this situation. Not sure if there's any bulletproof cameras that are brought again for reciprocity, but no, that's Nitro Cell, and we'll get thrown above, and we'll connect. A shuttle to go down, and yet again, the Dokabi. The hunter becomes the hunted. That'll deny the phone calls for sure. I mean, uh, ironic that it is a phone call that detonates that, of course, as well. Are you true? Call this one. <laughs> Number's been blocked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you like that? It's hilarious. It's hilarious. The dad jokes are definitely on point tonight. I like that bounce of that drum too. Just like. All right, vertical. Locking. Continuing Attackers on. Recovered the bomb as Attackers Rogue the bomb technically defeated. have control of projector, but have not moved in to Defenders solidify their position. Mark even uh, ballsy peek out there because you know what? There's no one from Rogue to hold the top side or the the main entrance. Not yet. Skies will scan it and give info for Mark. Fall back for just one more set. Oh no, they're on the drone. This might allow Mark to just move up vertical. Goes for it in the instant that drone is spotted. This might allow the Legion to peek up. No, he's falling back. No. Oh, finally he spots him. Okay, there you go. It's game of cat and mouse. I really like this. Retro still peeking to the back. It's projector as Fox will find the kill on Slash. Still no damage done at all to reciprocity as Mark will find one more on Eclipse. Easily will walk into the site as Yaku will destroy the default cam. Now, do they know that Easily's coming up? He's right behind you! Again, Hello. what's the deal with Echoes today? Skies will get shot down as Diffuser is planted. Mark will run it. How does this suddenly turn in the hands of Rogue? They have a Diffuser set in place. No Nitro Cell, no nothing for Reciprocity. And they'll have to peek long angles into the uh, entrance. Well, actually fine easily there, but leaves lacking low on health. Vertical, 5-5-2 in hand, and he should be able to watch this diffuser. I'm not sure if there's still a drone available there, but 
Time is definitely ticking away, and they can long arm, arm this one. He'll fire into the back, but it'll get taken out. Defender There's only one kill will be found, and Reciprocity will take the round. Again, that's the third one on the board, and Defender man, that, that got way defuse. too close Defender for comfort. It was all Reciprocity. Rogue found the entrance. <laughs> I'm not sure what Skies is doing there. What is the deal with Echoes today? I don't... I don't know. I mean, they are focused on their job, especially when you're in lieu of a smoke and you only had one player with a C4 and you would already used it. I mean, what is your plant denial at that point? It is the Echo. And so, I mean, it is important, but you are never safe as an Echo. It's tunnel vision, right? Well, it's it's depending on and on your teammates and trusting them to do their job, and it doesn't always work, but we'll see here. So far, they've been able to win all of their bomb sites, even if they lost Garage the first time around. Can they win console the second time around? This is the uh, the big question here. Skies is actually going to sneak off the Jaeger onto the castle, switch things up a little bit. Now, Rogue, having seen all the bomb sites, should have somewhat of a better idea how things are going to go. In theory, when you're repeating your defense, you're not changing up as much as when you're trying to fix it if you had succeeded before. So because of that, Rogue are going to try and read into, okay, well, it's mostly going to be the same base stress. But because Sky's sixth picked off of the Jaeger to the castle, which Jaeger wasn't as effective for him anyways, he's now going to be able to throw them for a little bit of loop and slow them down potentially longer. Now, they still have at least one soft breach in the Zofia. They also potentially could use some X Kairos to open up one of those castle barricades if it, if it makes a lot of sense Five to do so in the left. case of n not having their lifelines or needing to use them elsewhere. Attackers but the we'll see. There are more soft coming yeah. out again. I, honestly, I think Reciprocity watched that end game against G2 and they're like, this is nice. And also, we'd we'll like to remind you that Ents probably watched the secret game that they played on Consulate. And like, all right, as, as Intero actually mentioned very, um, very funnily, uh, it's rare that I get to... Uh, say that Parker was funny, but in that particular instance, he was very hilarious. And he said, guess that, you know, and just called up secret and they're like, oh, so you just, you just peek, you get kills? Oh, okay, oh. thank you very much. And that's, <laughs> so transaction. It's reciprocity, at least what they're trying to do here. Now they're not finding kills, but you see early on in the round, it does leave Rogue a bit shaky and unsure of where to expect the aggression, or even to expect any of it. Well, it also denies a lot of their, their drone. If they're not acting on those drones immediately, reciprocity are capitalizing on it. They're staying very, very mobile oh. a lot of the time, and I think that's something that benefited Ents a lot as well with the aggression and just the mobility. Now, Fox should have been spotted there as he was moving around with the cardiac sensor in hand. Oh, something you don't know, I know, we kind of repeat these things very often for people that watch every single play day, but not everybody knows this, but the, the Pulse had his heart, uh, heartbeat to sensor up, which meant that Vertical was able to spot it and at least knows that he has to watch out for such an Attackers opportunity the for Fox. And you see the whole desk has already been impacted, which allows the defense of Reciprocity to fight the Habana that will try to destroy the, the hard wall in the back and push away Retro on the smoke. Shuttle might just be ready for a quick rush in. As is, actually, they've completely vacated the site here. Slash will find one on the skies, and Smokes will get thrown in, but Shuttle's gonna go for a plant. There's nobody to stop him, and I say that Fox will at least force him away. Easily will find another kill on a Retro. But two defenders are still downstairs. The Yokai trying to deny Shuttle here from the plant, as he's trying to get it, and there you go, Fox! Finds the angle through the floorboard, and takes down Shuttle. Now that Diffuser is set in a very awkward position for the attackers to retake. Mark will, will, well, actually miss on one of a laxing beautiful shot easily from the outside. Threaded and fight him through the window. As Fox will try to rotate around. Just below Mark, the fuser will get set. And the Echo looking down, trying to use the shield to his advantage here. Unsure of where his opponents are. In the meantime, Fox will go down a vertical. And it's Mark left all in all in versus three. Mark will take a lot of damage. His shots as well exchanged. Mark taking fire from multiple angles, and Slash will take him out. Two Japanese operators will engage, and in that deadly combat and duel, it's the Havana that'll win it out. Well done by Rogue, and they put a round on the board. Now we head to round six, the last one of the half, and it seems very back and forth. 
It sure, it sure does. I mean, in that case, it, it's, I mean, Rogue are pretty consistent about pushing for that plant. They're very good about it. Not always getting the plant down, but even when they lost it, they still managed to recover that and get the plant down in the end, And despite Fox's denial of that as well. But it's the case where part of the what Rogue can take advantage of is because Reciprocity are playing very fe flexible and scattering very often in terms of rotating around the map, playing very uh, fluid and taking map control back. Daggers. But that also means they're also leaving opportunities for Rogue to get those plants down. Very true. And that's working out some of the time. But the retakes, because of that flexibility, because Rogue post-plant don't have any idea where Reciprocity are half the time, they're also not able to deny it. And Reciprocity are also very comfortable jumping outside or fighting outside fights. Again, it doesn't always work out, but it is definitely helping them win some of these rounds that Rogue could otherwise win off of the post-plant. So Rogue need to continue that strategy, but have a much better post-plant hold, or they need to do a better job denying Reciprocity's ability to move around the map. They need to hold better choke points. They need to be able to hold flank watch more sta uh, more stably, or again, just get the plant down like they've been doing and just have a much better post-plant watch and just count on jump outs, count on fights you might lose outside and just play smart and patient with drones. There's this position where laxing is. Um, we saw Shate using this during... With the Echo? Yeah, with the Echo. And it, you know, as Wilkie would say, it was very big cojones that, yeah. you know, were acquired for such plays. And they did work out for ends in their matchup Reload. versus G2. But for Reciprocity, they're, they're playing that game, but they're not finding anything on the other end, unfortunately. So, we're in the meantime, just going around, checking things out. They find a... Yokai drone and back at the service stairs, which makes a lot of sense. Vertical in the meantime will try to hunt such equipment and shuttle will be in support of him. Claymore is going to be set as well, just in case. Reciprocity attempt a roam game, and we've seen how many times Reciprocity have been able to pull this off. And well, what is the... Okay. Was this... Hmm. I think Reciprocity were setting up for top floor roam, and they kind of just completely bailed on that. Plus I mean, leaving utility. they read into the fact that they were keeping it, so they they were, I assume, hoping as well to know about it and to be able to rotate up, or at least to be able to defend uh, the yellow stairs. Unfortunately, the skeleton key down on his teammate ran right into it, gets okay. shot right in the feet with the skeleton key. That is a, an unfortunate situation to be in. And Shuttle, in the meantime, losing half his health, but also some valuable time lost. Oh, the here no! He shots. Yeah. That's that was too close. Slash almost dying there to the Legion of Fox, but you see these speaks, these are ballsy moves. It's keeping Rogue on their toes. That's Before the name of the game with this map now. I gotta imagine Rogue, you're gonna have to play similarly aggressive on defense. Yeah, you can't just lay back and you know, hope for your opponents to run into you anymore. That's, that's shifted. And I think the EU play day, uh, the last two EU play days actually have kind of shown that very distinctly on console. Now, shall try to find an angle on Fox or anybody really downstairs. Uh, Retro won't set up his. Oh, okay, but it's Fox. Just get one more, and can he find another one? He sprays to the wall, but caliber based damage there as Fox is able to find the kill through the wall. Unfortunately, the 556 five, there will have more penetrating power than the 9mm that's in the T5 SMG. Well, one more remote gas canister still available for Skies on the Smoke. In the meantime, the Echo watching from the same position we've been seeing in before. Mark fairly low on health, laxing. We'll finally get the kill on easily, but he can heal himself up. He should be able to heal himself up. This guy's watching at the yellow stairs, but there's nobody in there. He'll get shot from the opposite end as Eclipse will find one. Mark actually getting two, and now it's all up to Eclipse. Low on health. He'll find one kill. No, Retro turns around and takes him out. The defenders of Reciprocity will put four rounds on the board for the defense. Unsurprising, given the fact that they were able to do a similar thing in previous matchups on this map. And you saw there at the end, the Echo looked up into the bathroom hatch, which was still reinforced. Yep. Is, uh, unfortunately, we're not able to open that because, I mean, Slash is focused on doing his job outside, opening the garage up. That's what happens uh, when you're doing that. You don't really open up a whole lot else, which is, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. They're going for the plant. That's their job. But... So. Since they weren't able to clear roamers upstairs, which is odd given the fact that Rogue went for a top-down clear. 
it just defenders protect your bombs. Odd. It didn't really work attackers. out at all for for Rogue in that round. I, I have to I have to say, even though they they did the right moves, they made the right moves, the right maneuvers. Yeah, still was not enough as reciprocity. We're playing extremely flexible. This is in stark contrast to what we used to see with C9, um, where they were more rigid. Not the case now with guys on the team. Yeah, and I mean, you see guys, even with zero kills, the team is still pulling heavy as Laxing and Fox are getting a lot of these kills. And I gotta imagine Skies is contributing to those, just not necessarily with the, the final bullet sort of yep. thing. So we'll see though, I, I'm curious how Rogue are gonna play it on defense and how Five we're gonna see uh, players like Retro and the Blackbeard, for example, should be predictable on the, the uh, console office window. Yeah. Things like that, yeah, along with possibly Skies playing there as the well. Bomb. Skies did sixth pick over to the Capital though from the IQ because the IQ is something he is somewhat predicted to play, but he also has sixth picked off it a lot. And I gotta imagine Rogue have read into that to an extent and will predict that as definitely being a possibility. But we have seen Retro also be the one to be playing on the window with other operators besides Blackbeard as well. For example, he would play up there with Jackal or potentially Capital if needed. I'm unsure about the thermite pick. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's not strictly essential on this at all. No, it's not certainly a, not a bad I, thing I to think, have. Though. I uh, honestly, when we when it goes to console, I think it's also actually a bad thing. It depends on whether or not your player can also do his uh, decent job with the gun and things like that as well. Does not always have to be just about the utility. If, but if it's about the gun, you can like well, yeah, five five six is okay, but you can go for something else. And whoa, okay, two kills when the Jaeger, the second one, the MP five there the MP5 SD or the Echo, and they'll get an easy pick on the Blackbeard and the Sledge as well. It's odd because the Blackbeard literally has something to deal with all of that, but you know, you're gonna move up yellow stairs and fight the Jaeger as well. Maybe that's not something that you should be doing. And I'm- Yeah, Skies is trying to counter it. But, but he should be the one on the skylight above trying to force the defenders, the Jaeger in that case, to move closer to the stairs whilst it combos with his teammate, the Sledge, moving up. Trying well, usually to... a grenade throw as well. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not enough coordination there as no. uh, Rogue are definitely at the helm. Well, this may help uh, Rogue pull back some of the points they had lost on their attacks. As so far, you know, it's it's a 5v2 and only half health on shuttle, but that's the only damage they've taken so far. So they're definitely looking good on this. Now it's down to the top floor take actually working out for them. Smokes are coming out a little bit early, but they're also delaying this and allowing the Echo to play a little more flexibly here behind the projector table. Yeah, and they, they really do deny a lot of line of sight. Ooh, there you go. Easily gets the kill on Mark and spots the diffuser being dropped on the floor. That's always required. And Laxing will get uh, pushed up here by Eclipse. Taking him out. Sky's last man alive in the 1v5. We'll get his uh, five kills here and really his first five kills in the round is he'll drop shuttle on the floor, he'll fire in the back. But not able to find a kill, he'll get one more. This guy's setting up for the clutch of his life. 30 seconds left on the clock. As tactical crossbow being used up, flashes well to allow the cap tower to move up. But he's unsure of where the defenders are still. Shotgun available for Rogue, which means this guy's will be playing against the clock and he'll find one more. Clean up the one in the back, but is it enough here? 10 seconds in, easily in vertical, last two alive. He'll push him, there's one right behind the couch. Will he go for him? Yes, but there's still one more alive. Can he go for the ace? Vertical plays in the back, but there's not enough time. And Skies, the 4K, so close to a masterful ace here in the Capitao. I love how he goes from zero kills to a 4K. Almost ace clutch. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I was ready. My tonsils were ready yeah. for that one, but it's just, oh man, but it was Beautiful, beautifully done by Skies. That's the game sense, that's the experience being played out. And Rogue had every single advantage. Smart play at the end to just even even dive out of the windows. Like, yeah. hey, you want it? Come get it. <laughs> that's right. I mean, it absolutely could have worked against them had they not had the reinforced wall, for example. Mm -hmm. Might have been able to spray through that. It is also unfortunate that uh, he didn't know if he downed someone behind the deployable shield. So he wasn't sure that he made the uh, down because you don't have the points to display for anyone who doesn't know. You don't necessarily know you injured and downed someone. So he, all he knows is he didn't get the kill. But you can hear that, you know, Attack someone squirming around. So you can kind of guess what's going on. But then in that situation, it's you're in a 1v5. There's so much information being uh, transferred to you 
but also you were overwhelmed by the amount of positions you have to yeah, watch Yeah, but it's for. also like five people listening to you. Yeah, which means you have to be very careful. And, you know, that's the experience of these top players in the world is what allows them to pick apart the information that's around them in terms of audio or visual sort of info and then pick out the ones that are more important in the situation. I like that me jammer because you cannot hit it from the other side of the, the uh, long desk easily. So it's, it's just the width of that desk. So far though, Rogue putting up a pretty good defense against uh, what we saw. I mean, it, it actually almost did get dismantled though. We'll see if they can do it is equally well here for the lobby as console. Now, last time, though, Retro got picked off very early. As I say, that slash the one to get picked off early. This time, that's the Echo down very, very early into the round. And then Sky is following that up, spotting him on the detector, and then popping him with pistol. We always talk about spotting the vigil, but it rarely leads to a kill like that more often on the pulse because he's on his cardiac sensor. But nicely done by Sky, stuck on the IQ this time and stuck it right into the face of Easily. That's two huge kills here for Reciprocity, and now you lose the Roam of Easily, and you also lose the anger play of Slash on the Echo. Well, suddenly you're not in a great spot. This is this is the complete reversal of what happened in the previous round. Grenade even uh, falling down. It's, I don't think the grenade was the thing that did the damage there on the Rook, but still, Shuttle low on HP. He'll have to fall back, and Retro, with only one bullet, can take him out pretty easily. I believe he's running the, the Mark 17. There you go. A lot of people go back and forth between the Mark 17 and the SR-25. My opinion, and from talking to Renshiro, who actually plays quite a bit of the Operator, when you're just going to hold angles, the SR-25 might just be a better pick, because, yeah, quote-unquote, it got nerfed, but it's still pretty darn good. Yeah, really depends on preference of what you can uh, execute the kills on, or at least suppress people keep them in positions for your teammates to get out of the positions you want them to be. Despite those two initial kills, though, things have really slowed down as Rogue now playing very passive and not wanting to give anything out. Shuttle has taken a lot of damage, but he's also, again, not giving anything away. He's just looking for opportunities to at least try and even the man count out. And same with Eclipse. They're just, neither team is giving at this point, but looks like Fox actually taking some map control anyways. Now, Vertical is still upstairs, and you mentioned that Fox is in, and... Oh, unfortunate. He spots this, the hand of vertical there, but not fast enough to get the kill. Now, is there a soft wall to play in? Yes, there's two, actually, for Fox to try and use. The Rook is not spotted yet, and you saw that down there. Eclipse has been taken out, and oh, oh vertical! As he dives vertically, get shot, and Mark, beautiful turnaround. Mid swing. Mid swing, there you go. That's some reverse skeet shooting there. Yeah. He was even reloading for a full empty magazine. That's just, he's styling on Rogue. That's the, yeah, that's the play right there for the final kill. So you get the kill cam of it. Yeah, that was beautiful. Well, definitely a much, much better round. Damn. Those early two kills definitely, definitely paying off. I mean, Fox definitely almost walked into a situation where he got caught off guard. But no, he actually forced a rotate that it ended up to a kill as well. So, well played. It seems that, so, I mean, one of the things that was working out really well for reciprocity was that flexibility, that ability to move around the map very swiftly. As soon as reciprocity Attack was able to shut that down on Rogue with those early two kills, Rogue playing passive does, did not work. And this is just proving to be the theme. You cannot play very static on this map. And my question to you, do you think that's because Rogue don't have enough information from Valkyrie cameras, for example, to play against reciprocity's it's quick certainly maneuvering? Tough. I mean, they're also denying with things like Mute Jammers as well to an extent. But at the same time, yeah, it's it's not quite the same, and it's, it's kind of down to sometimes players from Rogue having to play off game sense and sound, sneaking around, trying to do what they can, kind of crouch walking around the map, which is what they were doing. They were trying to play it very calm and slow, but at the same time, the defenders have drones to move around. They have abilities to catch you out on that, but they also have some idea where you're going to be playing. Unless you're playing fast and loose with the man count they started the round with, you're not going to be able to get away with that the way reciprocity worked. Now, of course, that is on reciprocity to get that suppression on them. And some of that was due to the, not just the first kill on the Echo, which was, you know, that helps a little bit because it denies, obviously, the mobile cameras that come out of the Yokai drones. But it's really the kill that they got onto the Vigil that really stopped that because he was going to be the one to be able to free float around the map and not be droned out mm -hmm. because they caught him off guard with the scanner of IQ. Guess what? He can't go anywhere now. Disease dead. 
Retro is going to be trying to play this window, but these drones are just getting denied by Shuttle. And that's two now. He does get caught, but at the same time, this is going to be a bit of battle of the heavyweights here. Uh, Shuttle, the thick boy on the defense here. We'll have to deal with uh, Retro again. Black is something he plays well. Yeah, he plays a ton of black. It's not unlikely to see him do a decent chunk of work here, but what at least Retro is able to do is, if he's not getting a kill, he's at least pinning down his opponents, where it'll allow the rest of the squad of Reciprocity to move up. And that's exactly what Fox is going to do. Having taken control of Admin, he'll walk in. They still need info on the two players that are playing, one in Projector, the second in the bathroom, for Fox to actually be able to fully capitalize on this, but he'll fall back. The skies is now on the ash, so now they'll try to play from the yellow stairs position. It's Eclipse and Shuttle together. Now Eclipse is lower on health, so the Doc can easily pick him back up. I'm not sure if he's actually going to do that, though. Yeah, two players on attack have taken some damage. Shuttle actually is probably going to need to use those Stim Pistols himself. Retro, in the meantime, takes a bit of damage in return, though. So Reciprocity is slowly getting chipped away at both in health and time. So Rogue playing Static this time actually kind of working to an extent because they're able to hold the top floor. And why? Because they're supporting one another. Look at that. Four players are in here for Rogue as they try to hold on to this. And Vertical actually finds its Kai's to go down. This is a defense downstairs. And it's just the whole, the whole defense is set up on the top. What is going on here for Rogue? They're just completely turning this map on its head. They could probably get a plant. Yeah, they could just run in. They'll have to worry about the mirror in the back, and they'll also have to worry now with the rotation from the Muta Vertical, but there's no Yokai to stop this. C-Force potentially can get tossed in, but the EMPs can clear them out. And there you go. It's just an easy plant. And now Retro, all he's got to do is watch that diffuser. They all dive in as Lexing will find one. Mark with the second on it easily. Shuttle taken out and Vertical. Last metal as he finds Fox, but impactless kill potentially is Laxing. We'll take him out from the outside, finding the angle from the garden, and that's all she wrote for Rogue in the round. That was masterfully done again from Reciprocity. They spend so much time to clear the top floor when they realize, oh, dudes, they have like four players upstairs. Yeah, Let's just go. They're gonna have to fling themselves out of windows to win this. Yeah, it's guys fairly used to that. If you remember the USN broadcast, <laughs> they literally all threw themselves threw themselves at Skies as he's trying to <laughs> defend the plant. Well, I'm sure as he would have said at that point, sky's the limit. <laughs> I think Parker was casting that. Yeah, well, I hope he said that then. <laughs> Either way, though, this puts it a match point. So Rogue already in a tough yeah. spot on the scoreboard, and Reciprocity in a good spot. This just helps cement them further up there. And we were already talking about how topsy-turvy EU has been, and they also Defender, looking a little bit uh, shaken up in terms of the Titans outside of uh, Evil Geniuses. Look at that, Laxing and Fox doing a good job, but Mark, who is playing things like Thermite, still fragging out up there at eight. Skies also picked up the 4K in one round and one in another round. Retro only at one is definitely a, an example of not getting kills because he is holding angles the way he's supposed to be doing. Yep. And you can tell that by the ops he's playing and well, us spectating him as well. He is doing that to support his teammates to make sure that they can play the parts that they need to be playing. But at the same time, like, this, their top floor takes on uh, Reciprocity are somewhat predictable. It's just that Rogue don't seem to have a great counter to them outside of that first round. And we'll see if uh, they can do, if they can repeat the same thing again, they can hold themselves in for another round. But guess what? They've got to get three rounds in a row just to tie this at this point. Already guaranteed one point for a team that's uh, you know tied for second place right now in reciprocity. So that uh, pretty good position to be in for them. And they're definitely playing this. This is their map that they've shown earlier in the uh, season. And they will be two for two potentially on this and at uh, the point where you just don't take them to console. All right, Retro again in the same position as we saw before, and, you know, it's a hit or miss, but, you know, I guess they never miss. That's, that's what the new kids say. Uh, match point is really going to hammer things in for Rogue. Now, you, you know, you mentioned that that's already a problem for them. To highlight the points, it's, you know, you got three points on the board, right? Yeah. You tie here, you only get four. Ooh. Okay, oh, this is done. This is not going yeah, well at all already. Yeah, this is huge. Easily we'll find one more on a fox. But you know, that takes more damage. He moves up. He's playing the smoke there and 
No gas canisters have been used. Skies will drone him out. So we'll have information. Mark as well will confirm that. And so he'll have to use the... Oh, oh no, he's no. stuck in the fire and through the fire and flames. There we go. It worked that time. He gets flambéed. Yeah. Fl flambé. And this is the yeah, dangerous thing because you don't want to push him with the shotgun there. That's that's a real problem there. Round number nine, and it's looking like uh, a reciprocity victory. A lot of work to be done by Rogue. At least the two remaining players definitely have clutch potential. And there you go. Skies will get shot down. Nitro Cell is still available for the Pulse. Not sure if uh, there's any Yokai still available for Slash. I don't know if, if they were taken out. There is a distinct lack of IQ. At least the operator itself Remain for hostile. both teams when they played on the attack. <laughs> yeah, good, good thing you clarified that. Yeah, just in case people were like, oh, why is he so toxic? Oh, no! The missed headshot. That could have been the round changer right there. Retro well, takes there one, and, one. Yeah, he slashes ready for the second one. Unfortunately, the bearing nine, too difficult here to control. And Eclipse trying to use the cardiac sensor to his advantage. But look at the amount of time on the board here. The There's so the much. The diffuser, they can literally the ferry this diffuser in and around the map the whole time. And Eclipse, in the meantime, will find the angle. And it's a pretty standard one. As oh, no. Mark just runs away the last second. The perfect bait from the shark. And this has to be a plan here. Eclipse will move in, but they know where he is. And they're gonna go for the plant behind the desk. Information being relayed through the pings. And Retro will find the kill. Eclipse to go down and reciprocity. Man, beautiful victory there at the end. Retro doing the work on the Blackbeard and that was all they needed. Rogue struggling early on in the season. And well, this is a telltale. Reciprocity having Skies on the squad is all they needed to go so far. This has definitely been their map. This is this is one where you're going to be wanting to ban it for the rest of the season, or at least the rest of this Look half. At that. The Thirteen on the board for Laxing. Yeah, it is. It's definitely been a good one for them. I mean, it took Sky's a little while to warm up, and he still uh, necessarily didn't. Get